Now the one thing that you'll see all the time in disc golf is a new like high speed driver and the marketing is going to say that it's good for just about any player. No matter your skill level you can use this new driver and you'll hear me preach all the time on this channel that it's, you should be throwing the speed that fits your game regardless of the stability. But I do believe there is one disc slot that fits this description of everyone can use it from beginners to pros and it would be a valuable weapon and tool for just about any disc golfer out there. And the newest disc in that slot, I believe, is the Detour. And while all the big companies will be telling you that you need that high speed driver in your bag, this is really the disc that everyone should be having in their bag, or at least a disc like this. Now, for those that don't know, this is the MVP Detour. This is the newest addition to James Conrad's line with MVP. And this is like a neutral, straight to understable mid range. And I think this is going to be a huge and welcome addition to MVP's lineup. Because for a very long time, MVP's had kind of a gap in their mid range lineup. They have the uplink, which is one of the best understable flippy mids on the market, but it's very understable and the next thing up is stability is there, there's a big gap there i want to say it's the hex but i don't i don't think that's the next step up but regardless there's a big gap between the uplink and the next understable mid this though this will fill that gap right in between there so if you're one to throw a hex and then you have an uplink, this would fit right perfectly smack dab in the middle of those in terms of stability. And when you look at the rim and the feel of it, it fits very comfortably and very good into that MVP family of mid ranges. Like all the mid ranges I've seen from them have the same general shape to them. They just have the wing sits either higher or lower. So when you look at it next to the hex and the uplink, this is shaped almost identically identically to them, but the wing is a little bit lower than the hex, but it's gonna be higher than the uplink. So you can see the stability is in terms of the wing height there, but the same general feel in the hand and shape of the rim is going to be very similar. Now this does have a slight dome when, I mean, when comparing to other MVP discs. And I think that contributes to it kind of feeling, it doesn't feel shallow which normally like even the hex to me feels like a shallow mid-range, but I think this might technically on the spec sheet have the same depth of the rim, but because it has just the slightest bit of dome, it feels a little bit deeper, it feels like a normal mid-range to me, which I really like. This is probably my favorite feeling MVP mid-range in their lineup just because of that slight, soft, gentle dome on it. It just feels very good in the hand. When the hex, it's just, I don't know what about it. It just feels a little off for me. This, this gives me confidence on the tee, for sure. But it's really when I threw this did I really see the magic of this disc. This is by far my favorite slot in the bag, something that you can like work on any line. Put a hyzer on it, it's gonna pop up and fly dead straight and give you little to no fade at the end of its flight. You can give it a deep hyzer to have it pop up and hold that and go to the left. Or if you throw it like a slight hyzer or flat, it's going to turn over for you, but not like turn and burn. It's gonna hold, like it has enough stability to handle some power when thrown flat and turn. And if you give it the height, it'll just pan over, almost like a perfectly beat in Rock 3. If you're someone who knows about beat up Rock 3s, they are magical. This is basically that, but in a fresh brand new disc. I know that might be blasphemous to some of you, but that's like the best comparison I can think for this. And it goes uh, pretty dang far. But the reason why I say like this is the disc that everyone needs is that this disc is the type of disc that will make you a better disc golfer. Unlike those high speed drivers where most companies are just trying to make you buy them. And that's because that's where the money is. And for some reason, <laughs> For some reason, everyone just loves to buy high-speed drivers, whether that's like pride in each individual person 
always thinking they could throw it or just making it feel like you can throw faster because it goes faster out of your hands. I don't know, but that's just what sells. So companies try to convince you that that's the disc that's gonna make you better because it makes you feel like you keep getting better. But in reality, it's the, uh, it's a disc like this that's going to make you better. My jump putts are terrible. <clears throat> like if you can take a disc like this and work it on just a ton of different lines, you take one disc to a course to play an entire round, take a disc like this, something that's like slightly understable that you can work on a lot of lines that finishes straight. And if you can work this disc on all the different lines and play an entire course with a bunch of different shots with this one disc and learn how to hit those lines, then that will just open up a huge arsenal of shots and weapons that you have on the course. Like there's a big misconception in this sport, I would say, and it comes from like a good place. It's that you should only throw on one angle. Just get the discs to do most of the work and give you those different lines, but you only throw one angle and that's a slight hyzer out of the hand because that'll give you the most power and consistency and then you just change the disc to fit your line. That's good advice, I would say. If you're learning, you're still learning your form and you're learning how to play. Or if you're like changing your form in a way, throw that one angle and just work on that one angle. It's good advice in that sense. But if you feel confident with your form at that angle, then the next step is learning to throw the different angles. Throwing a stable disc on an Anheuser, a slight Anheuser, is different than throwing a disc with a slight hyzer that will turn to an Anheuser. It's a different shot. And there's different things you can do on the course by throwing something that's really understable on a deep hyzer or throwing a overstable disc on an Anheuser that you can't do with any disc, throwing it with just that slight hyzer angle. You're limiting your game. Now when you're still learning, it is good to have that limitation so you can focus on one thing and focus on that rather than trying to tackle a ton of different things. But if you're wanting to grow your game, you need to learn your angles. And a disc like this will not only teach you those different angles, but it's, it's gonna be a, a weapon in your bag for a long time. Because this is slightly understable, like if you have bad form at all, and that like a more of a hyzer angle or throwing it flat to like work it, on different lines, it's gonna just turn and burn for you every time. So a lot of people might grab this and throw just as far or shorter than me and say it's way too understable for them, when in reality, you just need to throw it a little cleaner and smoother. And when you get to the point where you can work this on a hyzer line, as well as a dead straight line, as well as a turnover line, then you're in a really good spot. Even if you can't throw 400 or plus feet, if you can work this on all those different angles and maneuver it and shred a course with just this disc, you're ahead of probably the majority of disc golfers, regardless of throwing distance. The other thing that this is great for is, like if you're playing the woods at all, one of the best discs you can have is a slightly understable like to straight mid-range because a mid-range is going to finish straight for you so when the woods gets tight the fairways get tight you don't want to go left or right again you have to maneuver it and get it to fly straight but if you throw like something like a fairway driver even even if it has the same stability as this detour does it's gonna pop up, fly that dead straight line, but at the end of this flight, it's going to give you a fade at the end because it's a driver. Drivers do that. A mid-range finishes straight at the end of its flight. And even if it does finish a little bit left, like maybe you put a little too much hyzer on it or you put it a little too high, it's not gonna give you any ground play. It's gonna just give you a little bit of fade to the left. And that is what you want, not just in the wood, like, Yes, you want that in the woods, but there's a lot of other courses you want to have and be accurate on your landing and your landing zones, which is a topic for a whole another video, getting proper landings. But this would be like the perfect disc for something like that. 
as I'm walking back to my car. It's, the sun's going down, it's getting cold, and uh, I gotta go pick up my dog from daycare. Yeah, my dog's crazy, okay? So on days where we can't like get him out to run and stuff, like we need to get him to daycare so that he has, gets some of that energy out. If you're one of the few who've met my dog, you would understand. So don't, don't give me that judgment, all right? He needs, he needs daycare. Now, this isn't the first or even the only disc that's like this, that's straight to understable mid-range. There are plenty more on the market, but this is definitely a disc that MVP needed in their lineup, and it's a pretty darn good one. Good job, James. This is, made a really good disc. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.